Hi everyone, I am Linda Dina, and this is Ugandan Art Speaks Out. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, some light in the audience so that I can see my people. Yes. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are happy to share this night with you, this evening. We are thrilled that you are here for our first concert, Kampala Jazz Orchestra, our inaugural concert. And you welcome all of you. We are here to share with you a lot of good music today. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky. And today, we're going to be having a conversation with a skilled Andrea Braid, who is called Polly Cup, who is an experienced music educationist consultant with a demonstrated history of working with both local and international institutions plus organizations. He is skilled in music education, band, orchestra, choral, improvisation, performing arts, to mention but a few. And he's as well a strong business development professional with a master in art of music. He's the first Ugandan to start a jazz orchestra, which you can call a big band in Uganda, and it is called Kampala Jazz Orchestra. Let's dive into it. Um, I don't believe in having secrets in, 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 in this, the way I do things for, as a teacher. Uh, I can give an example when I was starting my music, studying music. Mm. I started in a brass band in a small village in Buikwe called Mbiko. Mbiko Brass Band. It was started by a Catholic priest. But then this guy had started so many bands in Uganda. He had been in Uganda for over 40, 50 years. And he had started bands in, in, in Kamoli, in Kakira, that all that side. Like the most amazing bands, like all the trainers and the big important people that played in government bands have been in one of his bands. And you, where were you? So I was in one of the bands in Mbiko. He had started. Where is Mbiko? Where is Mbiko in this world? It's, it's, it's near as you go to almost the bridge going to get to the bridge to cross to go to Jinja. Oh. So it's like a small last village there. So that's where I come from. And I got this teacher, I think is the most amazing teacher. I've traveled the world about so many teachers teach me in Europe, here and where, but I think it's the best Or maybe teacher. because he's your first cut. You know, they say the first cut is the deepest. Maybe <laughs> the mus- is a mus- was a Musoga guy called Mugulu Sepol. But this guy taught me, like, he was selfless. He didn't have any secrets. He would teach you everything he knows because he wanted his students to be better. And I learned that. You I want my he students had done that to for be 50 better. Years. He was old, so maybe he was trying to impart knowledge. To no, the person who said that the band was the oh, old one, okay. but the trainer was not that old. I mean, he was coming to his 40s. So you're there, you're from school, you pass through the... Yeah. So I got from him that thing of, of being selfless as a teacher. Because I also found it, so when I came to Kampala, I found that there's so many teachers that keep stuff for themselves because they don't want their students to be better. So what's the point of teaching if your students are not better than you? The next generation has to have to be better than us, have to think different. What, what, whatever mistakes we did, they should not do the, those mistakes. So that's what I believe. So no secrets. <laughs> but if you have any, it is safe with me. Yeah. <laughs> So let us go back to Mbiko. Mm. You, you're born. Mm-hmm. So let's start from there. Mm. The let's story. see how that goes. Yes. Uh, I'm here for the story. Um, yeah, I think uh, that was 2001. Yeah. Piece of Invoke. As, as standing one year old. Oh, my God. Hold <laughs> <laughs> But too young. So 2001, uh, P7 Vark, that's when the, the, band, the band started. That guy had come, the priest had come. He's called, it was called Father Wayne, and he's still alive. Now he's in Rome. Um, he was a missionary. Yeah, he was a missionary, Mill Hill missionary, Dutch priest. So uh, he started the band then. He had come maybe uh, like four years, 
or five years before. And uh, people were telling him, can you start a band? You've started a band everywhere you go. Please start one here. So he decided to start one. So I joined. Before that, I was in football, the whole of my primary school. I thought I was going to be a footballer. And I think I was pretty good at it, somehow. I think I was good. <laughs> so then I got to, to, they brought music. And then I got interested. Because before that, like a year or two, my brother was in a seminary. And he was learning piano. So he used to bring music, shit music at home. And he would teach me. I was interested in those symbols. So I got interested, and then the band comes. Then I said, okay, let me go learn these things the other side. So that's how I, st- I get into music. I started playing the trumpet in the band, up to the whole of my, se- my senior secondary school. But there I was also conducting in the choir, such things. And yeah, I became a junior instructor at some moment because, uh, yeah, they had to promote some people and I think I was good at what I was doing. I'm feeling good I feel so Something that is quite intriguing, um, all the people that you go to, the artist musicians, they tell you they started from church. Mm-hmm. I, either my church this, my church the other one, as yeah. in P7, as in P6. I do not know why is that story continuous, it's all over. Every artist, they'll tell you the same thing, church. Don't people learn music from anywhere else, apart from church? Uh, yeah, they can learn from every, anywhere else, but church has been the biggest um, education founding institution in the world. Because Everywhere. it's open to everyone. So, and, and that was their mission. You go somewhere, you start an, a, a school, and you start a hospital. So you give people education, and you also give them, you make sure they're healthy. Yeah. So that was the thing. And then Catholics mostly, singing is important. Choir is important. So they were doing that for everyone. The choirs are important in church. So now even other other churches are doing it. The Pentecostals now are doing it because they also they know how important music is for evangelization. And everyone, Anglicans and all, everyone does it. So And church is open. They say church, but they make it very open for everyone. We had Muslims. We had everyone. And they, they never forced anyone to change religion. So you could go to your religion. We used to celebrate all days. If it's Eid, they give a package to, to, the, the, Muslims, to the Muslims to go and enjoy with their families. Things like that. So you didn't have to change your religion. But you come and learn music. It doesn't matter. Your orientation, your tribe, your what. You just come together to make music. So you start with a trumpet? Yes, I started with a trumpet. That's my main instrument. But then I had to learn those other instruments because I became a junior instructor from my own senior three. So you're in school, you're still the junior instructor at your school? At the school and also at the band. Oh. Yeah, so I was helping this other teacher of mine because we had three other teachers that were heading, but then to help out. So... They elevated me a little bit. So times when he was not around, I oh we go somewhere and then you could tell me, okay, you can conduct this song. What so did that's you get how I start. Um, actually, nothing, not nothing, no privileges. But uh, because if the teacher comes and gives you a role and you become a conductor, you can conduct this song in public. So somehow, somewhere, everyone starts to notice. The, oh, you're a leader. Yeah. You start somehow you, you be elevated. So you don't have to have any privileges, but they all start thinking of you in a different way. That, oh, he's a leader, he's conducting us. Because in music, once someone is in front of you, it doesn't matter the age, he's the boss. So from CDS3, you're a junior conductor after what time? So the whole of my secondary Second. school. You stayed in the same school? You changed school? No, I was in, in one school. In one school? Yeah. 
you're the con you're the junior conductor all the way through you're done with senior six yes by senior six i became the the real conductor because uh, what uh, what our teachers left they went somewhere else they could not teach and also the the priest had left uganda but they so, trained you so you could stand so they trained me so i stayed with three among three other guys that we grew up with so we were now the real instructors of the group leading everyone the senior six. by the time i came to my career here i used to come and go all the time on the weekends i was in jinja every weekend to go back and teach so your vacation you utilize all the time that you had my vacation i was there the full whole time. time full time full time you're going to perform in different places you're going to, are yes. you performing for events are you performing yes. for weddings everywhere weddings everywhere. all events government things for example it's in uh, independence day or those things you're so making you're going money. to perform <laughs> It was not actually okay a little money but that money used to go back in the band because it this the students were school fees was paid for them somehow and scholastic materials so the money that you make comes back this side so and I was not in charge of the money I was in charge of the music I didn't want to touch the money so, so you're, having, else was doing you're having instruments for the band Yeah. And you want to add more so that money that you're collecting you collect it, you keep you keep you save until you buy another instrument what instruments are you having by then you're having the trumpet what are you having what more So it was a whole brass band I So you can you, What is a brass band <laughs> <laughs> A brass band has so many stuff uh, we have the trumpets uh, we have trombones we have cornets a cornet is like a A trumpet is a smaller size then you have a trombone something that has a slide you pull then you have that big thing some it's a it's a tuba sometimes there's one that looks up like this that's called a sousaphone uh which other instrument we have a horn french horn which is like round and looks in a side that's a horn then we have the drums the side drum the tenor drum and that bass drum and the cymbal so that's basically brass band there's three of you so you you, uh, you bring in more people did more people come in to learn so there were kids all over the, the, the from the village so for us we were leading oh I we were see. training these guys but we had so many the, the group was so big it had over i think 300 kids so we had different groups three groups the senior group the middle group and then the, the, the young people the young team. ones that are starting up do you so still have really tabs on one. them do you know where some of them are Yeah, yeah, the ones I, I grew up with now that you're training others continued with the music others yes actually men a few people continued with their music actually there is a, a, a prominent saxophonist now in the country called Joseph Sax Jose he calls himself Jose Jose Sax and he has he has done a few songs with uh, I think uh, Vink uh, and some other people and um yeah He came from there we in the same 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 time with him we grew up at the same time we were playing with him so he's doing music i have two guys that are playing the saxophone and drums for chameleon they're also there a few people went into music and some are still coming up yeah So here's what happens um I I know music if okay some people they like I know music why would I continue doing it at a higher level as a profession why can't I just continue in in the sector in the private sector I make money and I grow instead of going to school to study the same thing that I already know so yeah. why did you do that why did I do music yes mm. um it's the only thing I I uh, as good as So in vacation you're going, I'm going to join university mm. I'm going to join so you have options you have all these other universities you have various options and courses so how did you come to join Macquarie and to do what you did First of all I wanted to do I I loved physics mm. and music I actually did physics for the whole of my senior five 
So I did, because I, I did, uh, I did music, I did uh, divinity, economics, and history. Head, music. So uh, that time when do, we when we still like we're, we're still doing four. Uh, you used to do four. Yeah, we are old people. <laughs> <laughs> we are really old. We used, used to do four, then with GP. Mm. So then I did head music, but then I did a fifth subject which is, no, sixth subject, because GP was also part of it. So I did the sixth subject, physics. I did the whole of my senior five, physics. So and you I, don't attend the, le- the classes, but you do I did some exams. Because, meanwhile, I was looking around to see if in Uganda I can go to a university that will teach uh, music, uh, sound engineering. That's what I wanted. I wanted to do something with music and physics. And physics, yeah. So that's what I wanted. So I looked everywhere. I asked people. Makere didn't have. Chambogo didn't have. There was no school to do sound engineering at a university level. Up to now, we don't have one. Can you imagine? Yeah. That is Sometimes. how many years ago? Two th- <laughs> almost. <laughs> we are coming to 10 or something. 15 years ago. So... There's no school. There's so many things to do in Uganda. So, so then I decided, I think I need to drop physics. So I dropped physics. So senior six, you're not doing physics. Yeah, senior six, I'm not doing you physics. You head and music. I do head and music. And meanwhile, I didn't have a music teacher at our school. At school. We didn't have a music teacher. I was the music teacher in my level. I was my own teacher. I, I wanted to do music at senior four. They refused. They said, you don't have a teacher. And we don't know teachers. I don't know why they didn't get a teacher. I think because, I don't know. I don't think they... Because music was important in the school. We had a brass band. We had uh, choir singing all the time for church competitions. I don't know why they didn't get music teachers. Some schools prefer, if um, we're not having a teacher for that class, then we're not going to offer that subject. So Maybe because we were few also. So you're few? I think. How many were you? I, I, in senior five, I was the only one. Maybe, but other people would have, would have joined me from the band because music was easy. It would, it would have been easy to get an A in music because we were doing already music or reading music. Because and, there's and a notes. theory paper, there's a practical paper. Yes. So you go and get the books from the library, you teach yourself. And I did all too. that. So senior four, they refused me. So I decided senior six, I will. Because I was a little bit important in the school. Because I was I was teaching the choir. I had the band. And then we had a very good headmaster that had come um, in my senior five. He loved music. And actually, we, me and him tried to, to, to do a school anthem with him. So I used to go in his office. We do some compositions and things like that. So he left me. He told, he left me to do music in senior six. So I was in senior six doing music, but I was also teaching, teaching in senior four. And then your fellows in senior six, you're still teaching them? I was the only one oh, in senior okay. six. So I did music in senior six alone, and then I was teaching four students in senior, senior four. four. So I was a student and a teacher at the same time. And Tell my students passed. Me. Tell me you got an A also. I got a B, oh. almost, but I was the only, t- I was my, and then, my, but my students got a, a good distinction, one, only one got a C. Actually, one of the guys I taught is a curator now at National Theatre. I've retained you, and you teach music, even though you're at campus. I came, I, that's why, I, I used to go back and teach. That's why you're going every weekend? Yes. So you finish, you're, you're looking for university, there's no university offering sound engineering. So, so I decided like, I would, I would do a bachelor's in music. So you considered, you're like, let me do music. Yeah, bachelor's in music. So, yeah. So when we we came to, to field and stuff, yeah, I filled in music. Even Chambuk, I filled in music. So I looked for anything music. I think my first and third or fourth were music. Somehow, I looked for everyone who was doing music. So it's the only thing I wanted to do. I didn't want to do anything else. So then, that's how I got here, Makere. So that's how you are here at Makere, where we are exactly at this moment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's getting sweeter, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we're yeah. going to break for a moment, then we're going to come in for another episode.